it's a team sport because you're in there with your guys every day, but it's individual because you're the only one out there on the mat. No person outside of the elite athlete mentality can understand what that investment means. And when you don't get to where you want to be, you know what, it hurts. Since I was a little kid, I had goals written up in my bedroom and then, you know, on my treadmill and all that kind of stuff. I write down NCAA champion every day. I mean, I, I have a journal and I write down Alex Marinelli, NCAA champion 2022. Welcome in to the 2021 NCAA Wrestling Championships live in St. Louis. Last year's NCAAs, the Hawks came in and had four different guys at number one. You had Spencer Lee, you had Alex Marinelli, you had Michael Kemmerer, and you had Jaden Ironman. Going into the quarterfinals against Griffith, I was ready to go. The match just got away from me. I, I let it tick, I let the clock tick. And he kind of got overrun and overwhelmed in the position, and then, you know, the body gave way. Alex still hanging onto that leg with one arm just barely, and Alex Marinelli is going to lose in sudden victory. Of the four number ones, three guys made it to the finals. You had Spencer, you had Ironman, and you had Kimmerer. Going into Saturday night, you know, I felt like it was my tournament. Inside trip by Lee, he gets it! And Lee gets the two! I felt like if I would have just let things come to me instead of forcing it, it might have ended differently. He had a good game plan and kind of threw my game plan off a little bit. You could spend a long time processing what happened in those individual matches with, with Jaden and Michael. And the similar thing is, is they both won Big Ten titles and then they didn't win NCAA championships. I kept my composure. And then kind of when we got in that back room, I just, you know, fell down and collapsed because I was so, like, heartbroken. Team sports, you win the national title, there's not a sad guy on that field. And in wrestling, you're holding that team trophy, and you got a lot of guys there that didn't get what they wanted. These next steps for some of these guys are going to be real painful, whether they step on the mat again or not. Twice I was the number one seed and I lost to the national champion in the quarterfinals. When you lose to a guy that wins it, I mean, that, that should be you. I think you're going to have your, almost your whole team come back, aren't they? Uh, I mean, there's a lot to be ironed out. Jaden, Michael, Alex, they were kind of three of the forefront of a lot of people that had to make a decision with the free COVID year, what do we do? I took some time to ponder it, and then talking with Spencer, I was like, I want one more year. Jaden, he wants that national title bad. You know, he's taking fifth, fourth, third, second. I mean, the only thing he's got left to do is take first. I know he's not taking sixth. It was the easiest decision I've ever made in my life. I'm with my guys, my family, and I haven't gotten that national title, so walking away from the sport would just be kind of the biggest regret or mistake of my life. I knew that Michael had another year of eligibility and he didn't want to take it. It's a whole other year of training, a whole other year of school. He's got a master's degree already. Even if you're going to have a great paying job and your life's good and you get a wife and you're happy, 10 years from now you're going to think, man, what if I did win that national title? I'm looking at it as a, well, if I win, then it was worth it. If I don't win, it's not worth it. I mean, that's not necessarily the right way to look at it. I got little things I've written down when I was 10 years old about Iowa wrestling, wanting to wrestle for Iowa wrestling. That little kid would have said, you got to go out and wrestle for Iowa no matter what. I actually have it on my phone as a screensaver. Just to uh, remind me of that moment to where I don't want to feel like that again. I think there was a lot of reflecting on just the past five years on why things haven't 
gotten to where they need to be. He's been honest and vulnerable and he's like, oh, this is really who I was. I don't know if I like that. There's just a lot of things that can pull your attention away and I think it's easy to get wrapped up in just a lot of just things that don't matter. Am I on my phone watching YouTube? Or am I staying active and, and relating a lot of my activities to better my wrestling? Back in PA, I was a four-time state finalist. Didn't win until my senior year. And I think it was because those other losses made me better. And I kind of see that carrying over now. Kemmer and Ironman and I have the average age of what, like 24, 25 years old. So that's pretty old for being in college wrestling. And we just need to put our faces up on the wall. Me and Kimmer and Marinelli, one last ride we have. We're all gonna do this. And it's gonna be something that will live with us for the rest of our lives.